Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hello and welcome. This will be the first CDF. Uh, so whenever you start a CDF, try, make sure you have three things. One is terminal, one is their website, and uh, another is at notes. Oh, and this is the website and this is the CDF. Okay, and uh, here, this board game is made for absolute beginners, so let's begin. This is level zero. So they have given some SSH information, and uh, this is the host and this is the port. And um, they have also mentioned that level zero, the goal of this level is for you to log into the game using SSH. So the main thing they are concentrating here is that you know the skill to use SSH so it's not uh, tough to learn SSH so you need four things so first of all you need a username let's type it as user uh, do we have a username yeah bandit0 is the username and here bandit zero is also the password after you have those two you also need a host and also port number by default ssh will have port number 22 uh, let me tell you the basic structure of ssh so basic structure of ssh will be like this SSH user the right host so this is the basic structure of SSH by host here I mean the server in which the CTF is hosted okay this is the basic structure and if you directly use this uh, the default port that is connecting is 22 so if there is any other specific port they have uh, hosted so we have to mention it something like this open p port number so in the previous video we have said that ports vary from 0 to 65535 okay these many ports they have mentioned here they have uh, running this SSH server in port 2220 so we can connect using this user host p so host is what bandit labs over the web.org okay and the user is bandit 0 and the password will come when you are trying to log in so let's log in so SSH bandit0 is the user and uh, this is the host you can see here clearly they mentioned this is the host so user at host and uh, they have a specific port in which they are running ssh so port number 2220 so before you hit enter i mean let's hit enter and see what happens here there is a password it is asking for a password so let's type the password and we are in their server i'm not in tar hat anymore i'm in bandit zero a bandit so so let's try to understand what's going on here once we enter our password and hit enter we have this shell and this host is also changed to bandit and the user is bandit zero so what's actually happening here so we were root before and now we are bandit zero okay so when we try to exit from here so we will go back again to root so let's check that one yeah 
you are able to successfully go back to root okay so you can create uh, n number of uh, subshells like uh, you go from ssh to here and then ssh to somewhere else and something like that and always you can always come back to your original uh, previous shells which you have created all the uh, connections will be saved uh, as a pipe so if you stay long enough you will experience a broken pipe so their server may have some script running in which uh, if you stay long enough it will disconnect you automatically okay or uh, in your uh, machine as well you will have some script running so client loop it will be doing and then it will send a disconnect signal and it will automatically be disconnected let me list all the things here you have a directory called ssh you will not have this when you are starting so i'll just cd into that and then see what's there we have two files known host and known host old let's see what's inside known host we have a bunch of things here and each one is called a fingerprint when you delete this you will be asked to uh, save with the fingerprint again let's try to delete all these things so you have deleted and saved it and uh, let's try to connect to bandit again uh, let me see first yeah it is empty so no host is empty whenever any new connection is happening it will ask you to save the fingerprint before you continue okay so when you say s to it it will automatically saved into known host file okay so it will be it says it is permanently added but you can do or you can remove it so this is the ssh information that is it is saving so let's type the password and hit enter something wrong am i not hitting it right <clears throat> and it's zero yeah okay so when you see a lot of stuff in your terminal you want to clear that right you can use clear command now you understand how what is the basic structure of ssh and uh, when the port number is changed how to connect that and uh, where the, where are the fingerprints stored and when whenever it is a new file how to store a fingerprint and uh, we will able to successfully connect to bandit right so let's list the things here when you want to list something in a directory which you're in you have to use the ls command ls stands for a list it is an inbuilt uh, linux command so ls and uh, uh, there is some file here it is listing some file so what type of file it is we don't know right so when we want to know what type of file it is so you use file command so use file and read me which is the name of the file and uh, when you hit enter it will show you what kind of file it is it is an ascii text file it is a text file right so what can we do with the text file we can print it on a terminal or open with the text editor okay so to print uh, to print a file a text file on a terminal use a cat command cat stands for concatenation you can add or you can display the contents in a terminal so here uh, we say cat and then the file name and then hit enter here we have it right so these are the steps you take 
for bandit zero to complete to this uh, string here so this random string is called a flag so when you go here so the they are saying the password for next level is uh, in a file called readme and uh, whenever you find a password for the next level use the ssh to log into the next level okay so this is the password before we continue to the next level we will save it so pandit zero and here we say it is as a flag and we will also write basic structure of as a set mm -hmm. All right mm, before we do uh, i will write write the notes later in a clear format for now this is what you do and uh, once you connect it uh, you need to enter the password and uh, so the next step is uh, use ls and uh, let me write it in this format and then next command will be cat read me so if you do this much the ctf is over and you got the flag and if you want to do something else like uh, find other ways to do it so i'll tell you so here we understood that this is a text file so what can you do with the text file you can print it on a terminal right so there are a bunch of uh tools which you can use to print uh, print the text in a terminal so one is cat so people normally use cat so you can also use head read me you can also use tail read me you can also use uh, um more read me you can also use less readme so all these are command line tools to display stuff on terminal okay <coughs> so when you are inside less it will display like this and <coughs> whenever you want to get out you have to enter q so that's it and uh, uh, you can also display stuff in a text editor okay here i'm typing read me so it is saying enter to continue here we are and uh, you can also use vi it is also a built-in tool built-in text editor um, in linux so here we have it so from to get out of uh, vi you have to type this colon uh, q so q stands for quit and hit enter that's it um, so let's get out of this since we have finished it <coughs> I am a user, a root user. Uh, you can be any other user to do this. So what I'm trying to do next is, uh, there is a SSH server running here, right? So, and we also know the username and password. And uh, which means I can download this file here, the file which you are seeing. And uh, so to download anything using SSH, we use some other tool called SCP. 
which stands for secure copy okay this is the one that we will be using so this is not a comment so i'm just try writing its name here so its command is scp so if you type scp and hyphen hyphen help so you will get uh, all the commands that you will be using here the main thing we need is this one because we there is a change in the port number of the server but we don't need anything else so so this is the structure of the command the we mentioned the command name and some options and then source and then target okay so let's type it in some format so that we will remember it so options and then source of the file let me type in this way and uh, destination directory so directory here means the directory okay so let me create one directory in my pc here so this is the directory which i want to uh, let me create a subdirectory here which name zero okay so here this is the place i want to download this so let me get into the directory so to get into that directory we use cd command all right so this will come later so we will talk whenever this stuff comes because there is a space in it so what how to move it so first you need cd it's new desktop and ctf uh, record and then ctfs zero so now you're in this directory right now let's clear stuff scp as we have said before let me type the whole thing again scp options um source file destination directory destination directory so we will implement the same thing here so scp and the option is uh, we there's a change in the port number so we have to mention port number hyphen p and 2220 and uh, this is the server which we are connecting right user at host so this is common till here it is common so this scp uses ssh in the background so or till here it is common and here we add a colon to it so we are mentioning in this server in this this is the file so this tilde mark represent the home so from here in this home directory there is a readme file so we want to download it so this we mention as a source file and this is the root destination so this is not the root destination let me change it so there's a desktop ctf record and ctfs and then ctfs and then zero this is the directory right this is the source destination a destination has to be a directory and a source has to be a file yeah okay you can also send uh, directories too but uh, here i'm sending a file okay if you hit enter it will uh, ask for a password here so because every time you use ssh it will ask for a password right so hit enter so password is bandit zero hit enter and the file is downloaded right and if you open this file you will also see the same thing i am opening with a text editor called pluma 
here you have the same flag right so that's it for this uh, in this you have learned how to use SSH the basic structure of SSH and uh, if there is a port change how to change the port and connect it and uh, how to list the files how to uh, know what type of file it is how to display the contents in different ways in a terminal and also using text editor and if you like the CTF you can also download it so you seen how we can download it using secure copy so that's it for bandit zero and uh, see you in the next one